everyone, what is going on? My name is Archer Live and welcome back to the channel. In today's Payday 2 video, we're going to be doing a solo stealth of the Breakfast in Tijuana heist that came out just a few weeks ago. Yeah, I could have done the solo stealth sooner and, you know, I really should be more consistent with these, but I never have been, so why change, I guess? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, the pre-planning for this is really a question whether I need any of this, to be completely honest with you. So, I'm going to get the, o the open window and the spiked churro. I don't think I need either of them. Um, the only reason for the open window over the parked car is the window is a good access point in and out, whereas the parked car is just a good access point in. And then the guard post, I don't really think I need that either, because I'm going to go in through this wall breach here. Nice and easy. Uh, but then I'm going to get the body bag cases as well, just because I can, because I can afford it. Like, if you see my money, I've got like, is that 540 billion? Yeah, it is. That's what happens when you join a ridiculously high crime spree by accident and get loads of coins and, XP and, and cash. Ugh. One thing you can't get on console, I'll give you that much, which is kind of nice, to be honest. Anyway, we're going to hop straight in, go right through the heist, and show you how to beat the solo stealth. And I really like this heist. That's what's funny about it. I haven't given it nearly as much love as I could have done. Or maybe even as I should have done, because I really do like this heist. It's such good fun. It's possibly my favourite of the Silk Road campaign so far. Like, I feel like, personally, for me, they've got better as they've gone along. Border Crossing was good, but it did, like, especially loud. It suffered from a lot of combat problems loud, like snipers, but... And once again, snipers are a problem in San Martin. Probably least in San Martin, but they are still a problem. And also in this heist, especially outside, the snipers in different places, and it can be hard to predict where they are. But stealth, I haven't actually beaten this in stealth completely. I did a blind playthrough where I failed right at the very, very, very last hurdle, like 20 minutes ago. And so now I'm just trying to get an actual solid playthrough now that I know how to do, play the heist. But San Martin, I fully stealthed. Border Crossing, I've never actually successfully solo stealthed, I don't think. No, no, yes, I have. Have I? You know, I actually don't know. I think I might have done it once. But my brain is failing me right now, so I can't quite remember. But this is definitely my favourite. For stealth, because the thing with this is it kind of reminds me a bit of Bank Heist. It's a very small map. There's not a great deal of guards. The objectives aren't too drawn out. Then again, Bank Heist is literally just drill into the vault. There's no precursor. You make your own steps by choosing to kill guards or unlock security doors and stuff like that, you know. But just in the fact that it's a smaller map and there's not a great deal of guards. Why is that window in particular all murky? Is that just because of the... Yeah, it's just because of the building in it. It just made it look darker overall. Can I... Mm. I want to try and get to the office door. Will you, will you see me? Oh! Why did that glitch? And why are you inside here? Jeez. Oh, this isn't the office. It usually is. <laughs> okay, I've never seen the office in a different place before. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll put the, the body bag here. No one's going to see that, are they? To be fair. Let's be over there. Cool. Here he is. Here's the office. Okay, this is different for me. I haven't seen this before. Not in my solo stealth playthroughs, anyway. You can see that? Oh. Okay. I mean, that's different, but I can make it work, so that's fine. So now we just get with this pager. This is the thing, though. Like, in this map, like I said, because there aren't many guards, it's very easy to take out a very select few of them and get roaming rights right through the whole building, which I really like. I like maps like that. As long as they don't make it too easy, like, you know, I don't want them to, to be me kill a few guards and then I can get across the entire map without any guard problems. But it's kind of like the bomb dockyard, I think, is the best comparison. You know, if you kill the guard between the two trains, you've got access there. That's like a little central hub for you to base your operations. You can put all your loot there and, you know, you won't get seen. That kind of thing. God. Whereas in Bank Heist, obviously, you kill all the guards. That's it. God. Bank's clear. But I like that for that heist. I just wouldn't like to see it be repeated in another heist. It just wouldn't make God. sense, I guess. So, God, but here it's it's nice. It's nice. It's like, oh, do you want to just unlock the bottom floor of this building and have free roaming rights? We'll just kill the two guards that wander around, and that's it. You're good. I like that kind of thing, you know. It works well. Don't bloody alert the guard. Just waiting for this guy to move now. So he should be the only guard left on this floor. But the cameras are a big problem, and I really like to take out the camera room. But also, the the closest I got on the blind playthrough, I killed two guards up here, two guards downstairs. No, a guard up here, two guards downstairs, and then killed the camera guy. And I really want to keep that that What's style up because the cameras are just a big pain in the backside. Although it does really depend don't on their spawns. Because the they could spawn in better places, but they don't tend to with me. I just tend to have bad luck with the camera spawns, it seems. I don't know. Right, I need to try and find the RFID tag, which is on one of these desks somewhere. There it is. 
Slide into the office before anyone sees me. Cool. Great. Yeah, the evidence ro locker is over here. There's a guard there. And there's Civvy standing against the wall there thinking he's all cool. Ooh, look at me, I can lean against the wall. There's a guy on the computer there. Civvies think they're so suave. It's hilarious. So they're like, oh, look at me. Off he goes. Cool. Now I need to wait for this guy to move, and then we're good. Now, which way are you going to go, sir? Oh, you're going to go in the exact God. direction I don't want you to go in. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh, the drill? Jeez, why am I trying to put a drill on the door? RFID tag. There we go. Jeez, that nearly went wrong very quickly. <laughs> Just put a drill on it. <laughs> Just out of nowhere and everyone spots it. That would not be a very good solo stealth. Right, I'm going to leave the loose in here for the time being. I may come back and get it, but it just seems like a bit of a hassle to carry them around when I'm trying to bag bodies and stuff. But there is pure Colombian cocaine in here if you want to loot it for extra value in the heist. But right now, it's not a big priority for me. If you lean against that wall again, I'm going to murder you. I think you lean against the wall, so now I have to murder him. But you know what, for now, I'll hold off. I kind of want to just kill that guy anyway, to be honest with you. It's just a pain. Might be in a good space, but I don't know what the cameras are like downstairs, so I can't really risk it right now. Look out. God. There's no camera looking that way, but there could be a camera looking the other way. God. I don't know. Ah, oh, screw it. Going to be slow <laughs> Doesn't seem to be any camera related problems here. If I don't see Suits me. Soon, so this I'll is our second page. We've got one guard left upstairs, one guard downstairs in this main building. If I can, I'd like to not kill either of the guards that are left up here now. Because that way, then, I could kill the, the camera guy and still have a spare pager, which is what I needed last time when things went wrong. So that's my my kind of logic here. We're going to see if that comes to fruition at all, because I, I don't know. Alright. I'll put this body back here. So, did Locke tell me what we're doing with the evidence? Uh, he he might, have, might have done. I might not have been listening. It's entirely possible. Kill you. Right, was it the blender? Is there a blender in here? Doesn't seem to be, which means I think it should be putting it down the toilet, right? Ooh, back to the sink, very nice. You have to destroy that evidence. Yes, and how do you want me to do it, good sir? Is it the toilet? I'm gonna guess it's the toilet. It's not the toilet. Use that paper shredder. It's the easy way. Paper shredder? Where's the paper shredder? Is that upstairs? I might be upstairs. I don't know. Oh dear. I wonder if it's in here. Oh, hello. Gobbles don't lock it when you shoot civvies. I don't know whether I've explained it before, but my logic with killing civvies is that it's just too difficult with guard pathing and civilian pathing to try and get the civvies to go where you want to go easily. So I just find it far easier. While it isn't quite that moral, I find it far easier to just shoot them and bag them. It makes more sense to me. The cell block is nearby. Right, That's where and then we go down to the cell block. And then we have to go back up again via the armory. You see, this is one criticism I do have of this heist, and it's one that I've heard a lot, so I just kind of agree with it. Which is, you can't really do objectives ahead of time. A lot of the time in Payday, like, the first example that comes to mind with me is with the Boiling Point heist. When you need to get the briefcase for Bane in that facility. Like, if you get it beforehand, it'll go, oh, how'd you know I needed the briefcase? Cool, we need that for later, but you found it, so that's one less thing to worry about. Whereas in this heist, you need bolt cutters, a police uniform, you need to be able to find the armory... And all of this is stuff you could do while you're wandering around, but you can't do it until the objective actually comes up asking you to do so. I mean, it's like if you were actually... I mean, obviously, we're not we're not playing this as if we would do heists in real life, but it's like if you needed a bolt cutter to get into some place and you saw it, you wouldn't go, oh, I don't need that this second, so I'll leave it there and come back later. You just pick it up and you take it with you. It doesn't make any sense to just leave it sitting there. So for this heist to be like, ah, you know what? You don't need it right this second, so don't grab it. It's just a bit frustrating, I think, really. I don't know. God. God, watch it. God. Right, I just want him to move so I can get access to the army. I could just kill him. But, you know, I really would like a spare page right about now, so I'm just trying very hard to watch just get this to God. work. God, stay alert. Ooh, where are you gonna go now? That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Sorted. Cool. We go into the armory, we get our thing, we're good. Now, this, I just, I don't understand how we can use this as a stealth objective. I just don't, but I'm not going to question it. 
because I know better. Also, I think I saw a weapon bag in there, but I'm not really that bothered. Like I said, I want to get through the solo stealth. If I can get extra loot, get cool. But right about now, I'm just not that bothered about that. So, I vote we still take out the camera guy, because I feel like that's going to be the death of me otherwise. And then I've got a spare pager. Yep, yeah, and we'll be good. So we'll just do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't get, how is, how is this not loud? I don't understand it. It's making enough noise, and there should really be a camera somewhere with the cell block door, but I'm going to question it. Not going to question it. All right. You in here, Haradine? No, you're not. Here's our camera boy. Cool, and he's in a place where I don't even have to bag him. Oh, I could really go for a so we can just answer right his pager now. and then we're sorted. Good. Then we just need to find Almir, get the bolt cutters, get him out, get in the police uniform. This is the thing, again, like, especially now, I'm going to have to find him, go get the bolt cutters, bring them back, go get a police officer uniform, bring it back. It's just, let me get it all in one go, man. Hey, Alright, so there's Almir. Now I need to go back and get the bolt cutters without getting spotted by the guard, who I don't know. Careful, oh, he's there. The bolt cutters in here? No, that's the police uniform. See, can't grab that still. Looks like he was hard for the chaos to handle. Somehow I don't believe that that's true. Let's just find it again and put it over there. Gotta love Almir, man. Gotta love him. Okay. Thanks. I smell freedom. Still uniform. Yeah. And yeah. Something else. yeah, we don't want to know what you can smell right now, Almir, to be honest with you, mate. I, I really would rather not know. Okay, so let me give him the uniform. And we're done. There we go. Open this door. I'm just going to sneak past ahead of time here. Because it works better. I'm going to open this door. That way, let Haradine get out to his car. Now, what number is the car parking space this time? Zero. Cool. So, you need to know what, what space the car is in for the car keys. So, then I can go to the keys, be ready to grab the zero key, and we're done. We're good. The prisoner knows the way out. Okay. Just keep an eye out for gods. Is he Don't just getting changed right now? Way. Yeah, there you go. You go that way. I will go to get the keys. I don't even know what room they're in. I think they're in the armory, aren't they? Don't get caught on tape. I believe don't they are. The so just gotta wait for this guy to move. Careful, and then we can grab our keys. Are they in here? Uh, headphones. Car, room keys. They're not... I don't think they're in here. Or am I just blind? It's entirely possible that I'm blind. No, I don't think they are. Hmm. Don't bloody alert the guard. Okay, well, where could they be then? God. So just let him get to the car. It'll probably give me a prompt on the screen, hopefully. I'm guessing it will. At least, I hope it does while I'm waiting for this guy to move his backside. Good. Now steal one of the police cars. Find car keys. Yes, we will. Hmm, maybe not envy. More just your stupidity, Almir. But we'll let it go. We'll just, we'll just let it go. We'll let it go. Hmm, maybe the car keys are upstairs then. I think they kind of have to be. But where upstairs? Photocopy room, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, a mark will come up on the screen in a minute if I can't find them, but I'd rather find them before it comes to that if I can. They're not in the, it's this guy's room. Are they in here? No. Why am I struggling so much? This is this is not good. See, this was the bit where I failed, so this is this is new to me. Yes, we know that. My problem is finding it, Almir. Please shut up. Wait, isn't there like a janitor's office under the stairs or something? Maybe it's in there. No. Paintings and useless junk. <laughs> and a guard. This room really needs to just put the marker on screen for me. Jeez, why am I so bad at this? In here? <gasps> oh. Guard, uh -huh. stay quiet. Ooh. Guard, Ooh. stay alert. No. 
This is hilarious. I'll just skip ahead if I can't find the keys at this rate. Oh, boy. Maybe they're in the cell block and I just haven't found them. I mean, it would make more sense if they were down here somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh. Right there. Oh, Troy, you moron. Okay, well, that's fine. Down. Right, they didn't leave the key in the car. Smart cops. There you go. No, uh, control. I wish I found that, you know, like two minutes quicker, but it's fine. We got it. We got it. We got it. That's one thing I will give him credit for, like starting to place markers for these kind of Come things. Because, oh, jeez. No I don't even think I need to bag these guys. Could have just left them, but I thought I will just leave them. Open up. You need to Number zero. Let's just go. We're not stealing the police car. Yeah. What? Why are you giving me the same dialogue again? Oh, that's it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, didn't get the security loop. You know what? Fine. It's all good. But there we go. That's the solo stealth for Breakfast in Tijuana. See, like, I really like that. I really like that. That for stealth, at the very least, that is probably my favourite stealth heist. Like I said, there's things I don't like about it, like the fetching. It's just a bit annoying. But especially considering how little you have in the way of guards, that's also pretty nice. I don't know. I think it works quite well. But either way, that is the solo stealth for Breakfast in Tijuana. I will very quickly put my loadout on screen. You can just pause on the different skill pages so you can see. I won't talk through it because there's no point. It's just very easy for you to see. So if we hop over, you can have a look and see that I've got skills in these skill trees if you wish to copy and see what i've used but there you go that is the full tutorial for the breakfast in tijuana heist for payday 2 i really hope you've enjoyed it if you did please give a like on the video It'd be greatly appreciated and subscribe if you're new around here and you fancy seeing some more content because it's quick it's free and i'll always love you for doing so also thank you very much for all the support in the last couple of videos it's truly very much appreciated the payday 3 and payday 2 console video essay both got fantastic reviews likes and all the everything on it was just fantastic thank you all so much and finally thank you all for 17,000 subscribers also if you do want to join the channel's discord server i haven't been mentioning a great deal but i would very much like to see more of you over there link to that is in the description as well as a link to my patreon if you fancy supporting me a little bit more than you already do by just watching and commenting on the videos they're now integrated so if you are a patron you get an exclusive role in the discord server and i'm also planning to add more little rewards and bonuses to patron owners over there so head on to patreon support me if you like if you don't, that's absolutely fine. But at least give a look at the Discord server because there's a very nice community building up in there. And it's a nice professional looking server now. Far better than it was when I first set it up last year. But either way, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Until then, take it easy. See you all soon. And thanks for watching.